good. And, and what else do we want to know? Okay, let's pick. Oh, count of restaurants. So how many restaurants? Oh, that would be an important information. I mean, maybe the average meal price here is 34 35 but that's only based on one restaurant. <laughs> so who knows? So we want to know how many are actually in, in each group. Uh, so remember what we did before with the soft drinks? We got the, well, I have to go here. Uh, you're right, right? So when we did this, uh, I guess we didn't do this one, but when we did this, uh, we did a count. Uh, we did yes. a count, right? So I got to the same thing. I'm gonna go over, go back again here. I'm going to add, I'm going to add another column, which means I'm going to drag down something from here to, to here. Okay. So count of restaurant? Uh, restaurant, okay. So drag down the restaurant uh, here. There it is. So some restaurant, it should say count restaurant. Right, so how do you change that? Um, that when we go to the uh, values, when we go to the values tip, mm -hmm. hit that arrow, and then if that uh, go to value field settings, and then go to count, mm -hmm. and then hit OK. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Right. So, um, so you, you change the count. So you have, you have some change the average. You have, again another sum you change the count. So whatever you want, you know, whether you know change average sum or count, you could always change the you know the same way. Okay, uh, and and um, that's that, right? So it looks like you could see oh, so very good restaurants. There are 150 of them, <laughs> so that's like uh, a lot more very good restaurants compared to the to the other two. Okay, let's see. So that was um, let's see. Is there some? Oh yeah, there were some questions to answer uh, here on the on the PowerPoint. So let's see what we've done to answer these questions. Okay, on average, do you have to wait longer at better quality restaurants? Yes? No? Uh, yes? Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and make this bold. Yes. Okay. Is the price higher at better restaurants on the average? Uh, yeah. Right. Yes. Oops. Okay. Yes. So what you're just doing is uh, the quality of data in there. Mm-hmm. Okay, now how many restaurants are rated excellent? How many restaurants are really uh, excellent? Um, uh, 66, 66. 66, okay, 66. 66 are the excellent restaurants. Okay, and what percent is that out of all the restaurants? The percentage, uh, the percentage of it, um, so 66 divided by 300. Um, okay. You could, we could just one use it. Right, rough, okay. Right, so very good, right. So 22%, which is roughly one fifth. So 22%. Okay, so now maybe um, <coughs> instead of me doing the calculation, I could let Excel show me, so I don't have to bother doing this. Uh, so I could get Excel to show me, pivot table to show me these percentages. So maybe I could add another column here showing the uh, percent of the restaurants in each quality category, right? I think you guys could probably figure out. So how do you add another column? So basically, um, just put the account, the, the restaurant, restaurant, maybe the restaurant in the values column as well. Okay, let's again. see, let me make, make this a little bit bigger. Okay, and it's like here. Okay, let's put and this over the here. Button. And then, okay, now I got the, uh, oops. Okay. okay, this is when I wanna just kind of close this. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, I got the sum of restaurants. So again, I could make it count, yeah, right? So analyze, field settings, and then uh, count, okay. But I don't want the same thing as this. I want to get the count, and then I want to divide the count by the total. If I want to divide the count by the total, that means percent. I will get the percent of the total. So let's see, is there a way to do it? I'll show values as, oh, there is some calculation it offers me here. Let's see what calculations there are. Uh, it says percentage of column total. Percentage of column total. Uh -huh. 20%, 20%, and 50%, okay. Uh, so um, uh, wait, what, what did we just do? Okay, so we went to the <coughs> we went to the field settings, and we made sure to choose the count, 
uh, and then to get show the percentages, I go to the show values as or show data as if you prefer. Uh, then here I want to do a percent. Okay, there's all kinds of percents you could do, but of course in this case I just want I just have one column. I just have one column. I want the percent of the column total, and so I could do that. Uh, or actually, I could have done a grand total. Either way, would have given me the give me the same answer because I'm just dealing with one column. Okay, so I, if I did this, it gives the same answer. If I do that, it's uh, it's, it's going to be the same thing, and so uh, that's what we have. Okay, so um, uh, now here again, uh, I don't like this formatting. I, I have all these zeros at the end that I don't need, so I could again uh, always uh, go over to the uh, number number format and then just change it to uh, it's a percentage, so it's just maybe uh, zero. Zero or zero or one, yeah, zero or one uh, is will be fine. Uh, okay, so I have the uh, percents here. Okay, okay. Now another thing, <laughs> another thing uh, here is that I got here uh, excellent, good, and very good. Okay, how? Why did it order it this way? Alphabetical. Uh, yes. Alphabetical. Oh, okay. Right. Alphabetical. Alphabetical because X one starts with E <laughs> goes first, E G and V. Uh, now alphabetically it makes sense, but doesn't make sense to you. I want a different kind of order. I want to sort of work. A, uh, yes. Good, very good, excellent. Oh, okay. So that makes more sense. So good is the lowest, and then the very good, and then the excellent. So that would make more sense. So what I need to do is I need to. Uh, okay, so <coughs> let's see. I can't really say sort because it just knows alphabetically. It doesn't know what, what these words mean. Uh, so what I could do is I could pick up the excellent and then move it to the bottom. Okay, so how do I pick it up? Let's see. I need a, so you guys with a Mac, um, try to get a hand, <laughs> get a hand. So if you hover around the border, at some point you're gonna see a hand. Okay, uh, what, I, what I need is uh, some kind of crosshair with uh, the arrows. Oh, oh, oh I, I had it, I just had it. <laughs> okay, that, <laughs> okay. So, uh, if you have Windows, it's those like little crosshairs with the arrows. Uh, for Mac, it's like a cute little hand, like that's mm -hmm. like a gloved hand, you guys see it? So once you find that, now you can move it. So now you have a hand, you could move it to the, move it down. Okay. So for axles, like you, we can move the row uh, down. Basically. Right. Yeah. I'm done. So I'm moving it down. Okay. There it is. So ap after you get the hand, you kind of push it and then drag it down, and then the whole row is will be moved. <coughs> okay. Everybody okay? So if I go to right click, and there is a there is a move option here, but I don't think everybody has that. Okay. So I could move it to the beginning. I, or, okay, wait, I gotta move it back. I could go move and then to the to the down. Oh, maybe I should have done it to the end. So move and then to the end. Uh, okay, now it says here row labels, row labels. What are these things? Uh, I, I, it would help me more if it said what these things were. These Maybe things are quality, it. right? Quality labels. Quality ratings. But uh, it says, just gives you this generic thing, row labels. So you could always type over. <laughs> so you could just, just type it. Type quality ratings. I mean, that's what I really mean. Uh, or uh, you could change the uh, format of this. Because th there's different formats of the pivot table. So I could go to the, what I could do is, I could just click anywhere in my pivot table, go over to design. And now you could make it fancy if you want. You can do different colors, but I don't care about that. <laughs> but go to the report layout, go to the report layout, and the default here is the compact form. For, so for, for some reason, when you're in a compact form, it doesn't show you the, the actual row labels, it just says row labels, instead of giving you the actual field name. Uh, so if I choose some other thing like outline form, then it will give me the, the actual field name. So it's just a little more helpful. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, it's not a big deal, uh, but uh, again, if you're doing a presentation, it would uh, help to have everything labeled like that. Okay.
Okay, so what do I have uh, here? What is my, okay, what was the last question we're trying to answer here? What percent, oh, we did that, it's 22%. And then now I want to go to a restaurant where the average wait is under 10 minutes. Under 10 minutes. So that's my, my personal request. <laughs> so I don't want to have to wait too long. So on the average, under 10 minutes. Are there restaurants like that uh, here? Yeah. So are there restaurants where the wait is under 10 minutes? <coughs> All right. That's, yeah. So let's see. Oh, look at that. You know, two and a half minutes. Good, well, okay. So there are definitely some restaurants that have under 10 minutes. So this is a very reasonable request, right? Okay, so uh, I'm going to try to find that restaurant. Maybe there's uh, lots of them actually, so I, I get to choose. Uh, so um, uh, let's see where we are here. So, well, okay, wait. Well, the finished version uh, here. So, so this is what we did. Right, this is what we did. And then here, I want to do something like this. So I want to have uh, quality rating still here and the waiting time here for, or maybe uh, for now I just want the waiting time. Uh, so I want to <coughs> have like waiting time in the, in the what? Columns, right? Columns, right? Because these are the rows, here are the rows, and here are the columns. Here are the columns, and I want to count. I want to count, and then pr uh, here I just turned it into percentage, but for, for now, so this is the first thing uh, I would like you to uh, do. So rows get the quality rating, uh, columns are doing, yeah, okay, so let's try, try this. Okay, okay, so I'm going to make another pivot table uh, here. Insert pivot table. Where's my table? Okay, insert uh, pivot table. Then I'm going to go over, I'm just going to create a new sheet, and there it is. And the following, you know, these instructions, the following these instructions, quality rating go here, and the waiting time go there, and then restaurants go, go here. Okay. Okay, so uh, we need to, of course, fix a few things <laughs> here. Uh, what do I need to do for these guys? Oh, I got the sum of restaurant again. I got to turn it into a count because I'm counting how many restaurants, how many are there. So I got to turn it into a count. Okay, so count, uh, that's, that's good. And now, what are these things? What are these these numbers? All oh, right, wait time in minutes. I mean, it would help me if I. Uh, uh, I'm gonna change <laughs> the the design so that it'll actually give me what these things are. So I'm gonna go to design, report layout, and uh, outline form. Uh, that's better. So okay, I see that these are the waiting times. Okay, so waiting times now you can see. The waiting times are being used as column labels. Uh, instead of being in the values area, now the waiting times are uh, you being used as column labels. Uh, and then inside are going to be the counts of the restaurants. So how many rows satisfy the criteria uh, for the column and the row? So when, you, uh, when I see this 13, what this is saying is, 13 rows or 13 restaurants uh, have are good and also have waiting time of zero. So these are the number of restaurants or number of rows that satisfy uh, the criteria. Okay, now um, I have a very wide, okay, here, yes, I have yeah. a very, very yeah, wide yeah. <laughs> table here. Maybe I don't need to get so detailed uh, here so I want to maybe combine these numbers together. Yes. So how did you fix that? Hmm? <coughs> fix that. Fix what? Oh, I went to the design tab. I went to the design tab and I went to the report layout and I chose a second uh, format. Mm -hmm. Oh, any other questions?
right here. Did I do this right or not? Like, did I do this right? Or is it too long? No, that's right. Oh, it's right? All right. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so now you're here. Okay. So now what, do I, what we're going to do is we want to group these guys like this. The waiting times, we're going to group them. Like 0 to 9, 10 to 19, and so forth, right? <coughs> and then so, so forth. So what we could do is, okay, so again, there should be instructions <coughs> here. Right here. Could you any cell contain the wait time? I mean, that is, what I mean by this is the, the um, one of these wait time numbers. Oops, not good, just, you know, click on one of these. Not inside, not inside data, but one of these. And I'm going to group these guys, right, into the different intervals. So now I could go to, and then what does it say to do? It says right click, group, or analyze tab, and then group selection. Uh, okay, so again, I click there, right click, group here, or I go to analyze tab and group, group selection, yeah, group selection. Okay, right? So I'm gonna just go, go this way. So and then you're gonna get a box like this, uh, like this. So starting at zero and ending at 94, what it's saying is it already get it already knew from looking at the data it knows that the highest waiting time is 94. So that you could just leave alone, right? And the buy is here. I wanna say I wanna I wanna tell it okay how many numbers you know, or what is the range that each group uh, should be, uh, should be you know, how wide should uh, each group be. If I start at 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so that's 10, right? Uh, or you could think of it as if the first number is 0 and then the next one, next interval should start at 10 and the next sh should start at 20 and, and so forth, right? So the distance the, between the starting points of each group should be, should be 10. So it already knows that's a smart thing to do, so I don't have to do anything. <laughs> but you could always go and change this. Uh, the, it, so this is like how wide it, each interval should be. So 0, 94, so just say OK. OK, so leave it at 0, 94, 10, and then hit OK. Now you have the groups. Now you have the groups. So what, what, does this, what is it saying? Uh, 0 to 9 minutes waiting time. OK, here are the restaurants. That is under 10 minutes, under 10 minutes. So under 10 minutes is uh, 118 restaurants. How do you group that? Wait, how do you group that? Okay, so I clicked on one of these cells, yes. and then I did a right click group, uh, group, and then I get 0, 90, 4, 10, that's starting value. This is the ending value of the data, and this is uh, how wide each interval is. So just, you know, this is a good, no, good, so I just uh, hit OK. So I didn't have to change it. Okay. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Any other questions? So uh, the answer to this question was 118 restaurants. So that's a lot of restaurants to choose from, right? 118 restaurants. Okay, I'm going to just cancel. And wait, where is it? 118. Oh, you want the percentage? Oh. Okay, so I just need to go to the percent, what's the field settings, show values as a percent of, of what, grand total, right? Yeah, percent of all the restaurants, right? So show play as percent of all the restaurants, so there it is. Okay, 39.3%, right? 39.3%, so that's the 39.3%.